How many solar system present in our galaxy? It is estimated that there are billions of planetary systems in our galaxy, the Milky Way. However, it is important to note that as of today, only our solar system has been confirmed to have planets that can support life as we know it. What is a solar system? A solar system is a collection of celestial bodies that orbit around the central star, such as our own solar system which orbits around the Sun. These celestial bodies can include planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and other small objects. The solar system we live in contains eight planets, their moons and other celestial bodies like asteroids, comets and the Kuiper belt objects, all of which orbit around our central star, the Sun. How many planets are present in our solar system? There are eight planets in our solar system. They are, in order from the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. However, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet, meaning it is not considered one of the eight main planets in our solar system. What is the benefit of our solar system? Our solar system provides many benefits to us and to life on Earth. Some of the most important benefits include 1. Light and heat from the Sun. The Sun is the source of all life on Earth. 1. It provides light and heat that allows plants to photosynthesize and grow, which in turn supports all other forms of life on the planet. 2. Gravity. The gravity of the planets and other celestial bodies in our solar system helps to keep everything in its orbit and prevents the solar system from flying apart. 3. Natural resources. The solar system contains many natural resources, such as water and minerals, that are essential for life and human civilization. 4. Scientific knowledge. Studying the solar system provides us with a wealth of scientific knowledge about the universe and our place in it. 5. Inspiration and wonder. The solar system and the universe beyond it inspire wonder and curiosity in people of all ages, and have played an important role in human culture and art throughout history. 6. Exploration. The solar system is an open laboratory for scientists to explore and understand the universe and the mysteries that it holds. What are the drawbacks of our solar system? While our solar system provides many benefits, it also has some drawbacks. Some of the most significant drawbacks include 1. Natural disasters. The solar system is home to many natural disasters such as meteor impacts, solar flares, and asteroid impacts, which can cause damage to our planet and threaten life on Earth. 2. Limited resources. While the solar system contains many natural resources, they are not infinite and are becoming increasingly scarce. 2. This could be a problem for the long-term survival of human civilization. 3. Isolation. Earth is the only known planet capable of supporting life as we know it in our solar system. 3. This means that if something were to happen to Earth, humanity would have nowhere else to go. 4. Exploration is costly. Exploring the solar system is a very costly endeavor, both in terms of money and human life. 5. Climate change. The sun's activity also plays a role in Earth's climate and the solar system's bodies can affect the climate change on Earth. 6. Risk of collision. The solar system is full of asteroids, comets and other celestial bodies, some of which can pose a risk of collision with the Earth, which could be devastating for life on our planet. History of our solar system. The history of our solar system is a story of its formation and evolution over billions of years. The prevailing scientific theory is that the solar system formed around 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. This cloud began to collapse under its own gravity, with the center of the cloud becoming increasingly dense and hot, eventually forming the sun. As the sun continued to grow and heat up, it began to blow away the remaining gas and dust in the solar nebula, forming the protoplanetary disk. Within this disk, small particles of dust began to stick together, forming larger and larger bodies known as planetesimals. These planetesimals eventually grew into the planets we have today, with the inner rocky planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, forming closer to the Sun, and the outer gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, forming further away. During the formation of the solar system, the early inner planets were bombarded by comets and asteroids, leaving behind many craters. The giant planets also migrated to their current positions, and the leftover planetesimals formed the asteroid belt, Kuiper belt and Oort cloud. 
After the formation, the solar system continued to evolve over time. The sun's energy output has increased, and the planets have undergone various geological and atmospheric changes. Some planets, like Earth, have developed the conditions necessary to support life. While the solar system is not actively forming new planets, it's still active with comets, asteroids, and Kuiper belt objects are still observed to move around. The history of the solar system is an ongoing area of research and discovery, with new discoveries and observations continuing to add to our understanding of how it formed and evolved over time. What happens if a black hole enters solar system? If a black hole were to enter our solar system, the effects would depend on the size and location of the black hole, as well as its trajectory. However, in general, the effects would likely be catastrophic. If the black hole was small enough, it may pass through the solar system without having much effect on the planets or other celestial bodies. However, if the black hole were large enough, it could have a significant impact on the solar system. If the black hole were to pass close enough to the sun, it could disrupt the orbits of the planets and cause them to collide or be ejected from the solar system. It could also cause the sun to become unstable and go into a red giant phase, engulfing the inner planets or cause a supernova. If the black hole were to pass close enough to one of the planets, it could cause the planet to be torn apart or swallowed by the black hole. If the black hole were to pass through the Oort cloud, it could deflect comets and asteroids towards the inner solar system, leading to a possible impact events on the planets. It is important to note that the probability of a black hole entering our solar system is extremely low, as the solar system is located in a relatively low density region of the Milky Way. Additionally, black holes are extremely difficult to detect and track, so it is unlikely that we would have any warning if one were approaching. Conclude Solar System In conclusion, our solar system is a collection of planets, moons, asteroids, comets and other celestial bodies that orbit around the central star, the Sun. It formed around 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust known as the Solar Nebula. The solar system is home to eight planets, with Earth being the only known planet capable of supporting life. The solar system also has the asteroid belt, Kuiper belt and Oort cloud which are formed by leftover planetesimals during the formation of the solar system. The solar system is an ongoing area of research and discovery, with new observations and discoveries adding to our understanding of its history, structure and workings. However, it also has its drawbacks, such as natural disasters, limited resources, and isolation. The solar system's exploration is costly and it can be affected by the sun's activity which plays a role in Earth's climate. And the risk of collision with celestial bodies is also present. For more videos stay tuned with us.